Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create different resource groups in PAM360. So when you would like to perform uh, bulk operations, it is a good idea to have your resources and accounts collected together as a resource group. So you will find this groups tab available in the left pane, and uh, you can create groups using this add group button. You will find two choices. One is a static group. It's a fairly straightforward uh, way of creating groups. You just provide a name for the group. And uh, when you click on save and proceed, it will ask you to select which resources you would like to add into that particular group that you are trying to create. You have search options here. You have the uh, bulk operation button at the top to either add the group or remove the group. But regardless, um, a static groups are created when you would like to collect an entire resource. So for example, I have a Windows machine and I have 10 different accounts inside it. If you want the entire machine to be selected and made to be a part of the groups, then static group is fine. In other words, if I select this resource, I am actually selecting all accounts inside this resource. So you don't see uh, uh, an expansion where you can choose specific accounts inside that resource. So that said, static groups might not be helpful for majority of your requirements. Uh, and also, um, uh, it is um, static in the sense, in future, if you want to add a new device, then you have to manually modify this group and add that device into the group. So that is the reason we have the next option, which is dynamic grouping. Now, this is quite powerful in the sense you can use this form of grouping to automate um, device grouping process, access delegation, and various other operations. So to put it simple, this allows you to create a group by specifying a criteria. So for example, I would like to collect all my local admin passwords or accounts together. So I'm creating a group called local admin group. And my requirement is to basically filter all my Windows machines and then filter just the local administrator account for that machine. And in my environment, my local admin accounts are named administrator. So I'll specify a criteria that says resource type equals Windows. Now, as you can see, it has filtered out all other resource types. It's not showing any Cisco device or Linux, so it's good. So I can click on the plus sign to add an additional criteria. And I'm gonna say user account equals administrator. And if I click search, it's only selecting the administrator accounts across all of my Windows machines together. So I can save this group. And um, say, for example, if you have uh, 100 Windows servers and you have a local account called administrator and all of them, your group will contain 100 local admin accounts bundled together. Now, it doesn't contain any other resource type and it doesn't contain any other accounts. Like you might have an account called guest. Uh, it's not part of this group. And um, so uh, the advantage of this is tomorrow, let's say you create five new virtual machines. You add them into Active Directory. And PAM is synchronizing against Active Directory and it identifies these five new machines and it's automatically onboarded under the resources tab. From there, the five machines have local administrator accounts and they will be automatically added into this group without you having to manually edit the group or add the accounts into the group because those five new accounts matches this criteria. So this way you can automate device addition process and grouping process by creating different dynamic groups. And um, while creating dynamic groups, you also have the flexibility of using um, a wide range of criteria. So for example, some enterprises might have a very good naming convention. Say for example, all of their servers start with the name SRV. So they can just specify resource name starts with SRV and all of their servers are filtered now and then they can add more filters. Or in some cases, um, the devices are segregated into different ID range. So they can specify a criteria that says DNS name starts with 10.1. And uh, all the devices residing in 10.1 subnet will be filtered together. 
So you could use uh, description, department. In some cases, you might have the proper location data populated in Active Directory, which in turn is onboarded into PAM. So you can use that. Or we even have an option for you to use your own custom columns and custom values for this grouping functionality. And uh, we'll talk about it in another video where we can explain how you can uh, create your own custom columns for different use cases. But for groups, we have two options where you can create a static group, which is useful for uh, regular devices. And it's a dynamic group will help you in automating uh, the device addition, grouping, and access dedication process.